Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome to another adventure. Right now we're here at Catalina Island. We're gonna do the Trans Catalina Trail. Our journey begins at Catalina Express Port in San Pedro, California. After leaving our cars in the parking lot, we check in, get our boarding passes, and wait to board. Once we boarded, it's time to relax and just enjoy the views while looking at Los Angeles behind us. It is approximately an hour and 15 minutes ride from San Pedro to Avalon Bay. Each year, more than 1 million passengers set sail on board the Catalina Express fleet. You will also see the Angels Gate Lighthouse along this route. After more than an hour of boat ride, the historic Catalina Casino will greet you at Avalon Bay. It is the largest building on the island and the most visible landmark in Avalon Bay when approaching from the mainland. Since we will be doing the reverse hike, we will continue our journey to two harbors for another hour or so. Upon arriving in two harbors, we grabbed our packs and headed towards the center. Two harbors is the second center of population on the island, besides city of Avalon. It is mainly a resort village. Here we checked in and paid the fees for our camps. There is a general store where you can get last minute items like fuel, snacks, and even souvenirs. Today uh, we have uh, five of us. We have uh, Justin from Arizona, he's here. Scott and Anna, myself, uh, Jeanette, and tomorrow Adam will be joining us. He's still uh, celebrating his uh, twin, uh, twin's birthday today, so he will be joining us tomorrow here in Two Harbors. So we're gonna spend the night in Parsons and then waiting for him here uh, tomorrow morning. Now coming from Two Harbors, going to Parsons Landing, there are two ways. It's either you go up and walk along the trail, or you can just uh, use the road, which is easier. But the plan today is um, going up and then come back down to two harbors tomorrow using the road it's gonna be easier for us because we're gonna continue on from two harbors to little harbor tomorrow for our second night coming from two harbors going to parsons landing is up and down many times over we passed by the wells beach and started hiking up with moderate elevation gain after passing through mile marker number 25 we see some signs and gate, reminding us that this island is bison territory. As we go along, the trail is becoming more steep. We reach the sign of Lobster Bay Lookout. Here you will see the Pacific Ocean on both sides of the island. As we go along, the hike is becoming more difficult, but the views are becoming better. And since we are doing this hike in reverse, mile markers start at high numbers. When you do this hike, if you can bring a pair of trekking poles, bring it because you know there's some parts like this. Even you're walking on the road, you, you will be uh, thanking the trekking pole. It's gotta be a big help. We're almost there. Mile marker number 30. We made it to uh, Parsons Landing. Right over here, camp number one, and here's the view. It's gonna be windy tonight. All right, we made it. After building up the fire, we proceeded to set up our shelters. We 
We maintained the fire until we finished our dinner and planning the hike for the following day. Alright guys, let's conclude the uh, first day here in uh, Santa Catalina Island doing the uh, Trans Catalina Trail. That was a tough hike on the first day. We're tired, we're okay. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up um, probably around 7 tomorrow, have breakfast. We wanna be at the uh, two harbors around noon so we can have the barbecue. They will be offering a barbecue from noon time to 5.30. And then from there, we're gonna be heading out to a uh, little harbor. Uh, but first, we're gonna meet uh, Adam there in two harbors. So, all right, see you tomorrow, guys. Camp, Parsons Landing. You got coffee? Yes, sir. Coffee. All right, morning. Nice. Everybody's gonna have some breakfast. And this is our view. Oh, that's dark. Oatmeal. Oatmeal and coffee? Nice. It's so light. Yeah, you kept it kind of quiet. I didn't want to hit him. Still hot. It's still good. Come on, Jeanette. Take some protein. And I got some bacon. Pork shot. I love bacon. <laughs> and this is the gravy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So getting it nice, dirty, nice. ready to go. I like your pot, your uh, container, that yeah. lead, right? Yeah. Cover it up. I'm in a uh, like a quarter bag from a bank. Okay, we're still packing out. Almost heading out, probably another five minutes, and we'll be out of here. Let's help out a little bit. Put everything there. Since we are coming from sea level, we will be climbing up again and maintain some elevations. We got mile 30 today, mile 31 marker. I took a detour and explored this private camp. It is a Boy Scout camp and currently closed. Oh, private camp. And this is probably why I didn't see the mile marker number 32. So that was the camp that we passed by, the uh, Camp Emerald Bay Boy Scout camp. This was from uh, 1925, the year it was established. So that is a, a private uh, uh, area. If you're going to Parsons Landing, you're gonna take the uh, the trail, the road for hikers and bikers. And the road right there, you see them? <laughs> They're so far away. I need to catch up. You'll find some uh, restroom along the way. Nice. Okay. The hand sanitizer smells like. There you go, mile 36. All right, mile 37. All right, in some portion of the hike, you'll see this uh, um, information, like the warning sign too, and you see this uh, welcome sign. Welcome to. Uh, Santa Catalina Island. 
There's a mine shaft that is closed right here. We're trying to check it out. No entry. Okay. What do you see in there? All right, we're approaching the cove to harbors. All right, we're almost there. This is the marker. All right. Oh, 1926. How cool is that? That's where we're going. That's where Adam is and the barbecue. I have hands. I have numbers. We're coming for you, brother. Hi, no Hi. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. All right, we made it here to Two Harbor. Adam is here waiting for us. Glad to see him. We're gonna have something to eat for lunch and then chill out a little bit and then heading out to oh, look at that <laughs> heading out to uh, little harbor today second day all right back to the store Do you want a bag? Uh, yes please uh, all right yeah, right now we're leaving the town of two harbor we had a great lunch and uh, rested for a little and now the group is moving up again Climbing up and uh, moving towards Little Harbor. And yeah, Adam is with us now. So he will be hiking with us for the rest of the true hike. And we're gonna have some fun tonight at Little Harbor. The group break up at this point. Anna, Scott, Jeanette, and Justin will be taking the road to Little Harbor, while me and Adam will take the more scenic route through the ridge. The road is 1.3 miles shorter. Although this part of the hike in either way is relentless, the view from above the ridge is breathtaking. You will see part of the island facing west towards the far east and down below is part of the Catalina Harbor and the coastline that resembles a big surf. It's a little bit windy up here. We found a bench so we can sit on and rest for a while and look at the view. It's really awesome. Beautiful. We're facing the, uh, the east looking at the Pacific Ocean and we're heading towards Way. Climbing down from here and then up again and then to the left going that way to Little Harbor. Follow that ridge. Oh, you know, look, look uh -huh. at that. It's a hair? Bison hair. Bison hair. <laughs> Wild marker 21. Look at that! You need a forensic expert around here. The bison did it! Alright, we almost make it to Little Harbor. That's Little Harbor right there. See the people on top? Rocks. We gotta be camping on this side right here. I see them. They just they just got there. All right, pretty much we're done setting up. I'll show you around the camp. Right now we're starting to make dinner. The uh, TP is right here. I'm just hanging my shirt, you know, letting it dry. But yeah, my setup is ready. That's my hotel for tonight. Yeah, got my pillow. I forgot to use my pillow last night. The baker, ba butter. The non baker, baker. Baker, baker. Got some uh, wine. Easy some. Got some wine from Two Harbor. You ready? Cheers. Tagay na. Okay, Jeanette is having. Uh, you having pasta again? Noodles. Noodles. I the whole one for. Uh, Justin? I had a hoodie and uh, cheddar, cheddar broccoli, and then I have a cheese broccoli. Mmm. A, 
uh, chicken and rice soup also. Oh, chicken and rice. He's about to pour the butter in right now. Ooh. Got first mix, uh, and then for five more minutes, sugar with the... I'm gonna have this. Uh, pick refuero, beef pasta marinara. I'm gonna add some some cheese. Sugar and crust mix. I'm gonna do the butt here. Yeah, boom. And then through. Here's my dinner. Pasta marinara. And then I put some cheese. Some and then some uh, dried pepper. Dinner. 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 All right, let's have dinner. Everybody have dinner. Yep. And Scott, they're having uh, their mac and cheese. Valentine's dinner. Yeah. No, there'll be tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Okay. Put some sausage in it. We have it early. Mac and cheese. What's that? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. You got the cut. I cut it. Yeah. Boom. And then three ways. There we go. <laughs> we're gonna well, have. Say it the right way. Steamy. We're gonna have the dessert. Hey guys, we're going to sleep now. Take some rest. Gonna be another big day tomorrow. Gonna be hiking all the way to uh, airport in the sky. Hopefully it's open. Probably we can have some something to eat over there. I'm really looking forward to have the uh, bison burger up there. That will be six miles from here, and then probably from there another two miles going down to Blackjack, where we're going to spend the uh, the third day, day three of uh, the trip. Good night, guys. Yesterday we saw a uh, bison around here and we got here to the camp, camp number five. I believe uh, it's still around. I'll check it out. Okay, right there, the bison right there. <laughs> I'm not supposed to get close to the bison. You can see the bison behind me. Right here? Don't stay here. Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm get him on film, and then wake him up when he's real close to a rock. What's for breakfast? Let's have breakfast. Oh, hot. No, I, I'm gonna use what the. What I have to do for the oatmeal? Get some. There you go. Yeah. I don't want to carry this out. Some That's coffee, what I Mike. Do, man. Being in the in the way. <laughs> I, I think I bent over too. It's like this. <laughs> All right, we had breakfast. We're going to pack out right now and moving towards um, airport in the sky. Hopefully it's open and then we're gonna camp today at the uh, Blackjack campground. It's gonna be a nice uh, day for our third day here. Day three in Trans Catalina. Alright, we just passed the trail where the papa was standing right there behind me. <laughs> Kinda cool. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see some more today. We're going to airport in the sky. I'm gonna have some bison burger.
right, we're back to the road. All right, mile marker 14. I can see the airport, the air balloon right there. Welcome to Airport in the Sky. We made it. Woo. Let's have some bison burger. Oh yeah. Do they have beer? Let's see. All right, we made it here to Airport in the Sky. We're gonna grab something to eat, probably bison burger. And can we have time to explore the area? Great to be here. Airport in the Sky is home to DC3 Grill and Gifts, a restaurant and gift shop featuring buffalo burgers, sandwiches and world famous cookies. Airport in the Sky was commissioned by the Wrigley family. Two mountain tops were leveled and the remaining canyon filled in to create the 3,200 foot runway. When you visit this place, make sure you try the bison burger. They're really good. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. So good. All those guys. Uh, we were coming down on the, onto the road, and I'm like, "Is that her on the trail trying to overpass the guys? Were you on the road yeah. or on the trail?" On the road. Oh, okay. it was Robert. Mm -hmm. Robert was. Uh, road. You'd be at it on about four and a half, five miles, and it probably wouldn't be. It'd be mostly, you know, rolling hills. So up and down, mm. up and down, up and down, up and down. Or else. How's your grilled cheese, baby? Well, my wife isn't mad at me right now because I'm putting my salt in my... Catalina Island's only airport is privately owned and located 10 miles from Avalon and 13 miles from two harbors. The airport sits on a plateau 1,600 feet above sea level, one of the highest points on the island. The airport is open to the public and is primarily used for general aviation. Freight aircraft arriving from the mainland also use airport in the sky. There are no scheduled passenger flights to and from Catalina Island. miles to Blackjack uh, campground. Almost there. All right, mile marker 11 near uh, Blackjack camp. Okay, we're here. We're gonna be looking for our spot. All right, hey, everybody got here part. to Blackjack. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna set up. What do you want? Set up? You're already set up. I know. Wow. We're still setting up. Uh, right here. We got no fire tonight. They got a fire. Yeah. I know they're making. They're here at the Blackjack campground. I set up already. Adam. And then uh, got a Nana will be here. That's uh, Jeanette, the green tent, Nemo. I'm gonna prepare for dinner. This should be the ranger station or office. You see the lockers. But it's not in use because of the COVID situation. And on this side, you'll see two restrooms. You know, it's unisex. Should be clean. You know, in this area, you you will have uh, like a beer box. You know. Do you know? Like pesto pasta. All right, there you go. He's finishing off his dinner. Everybody else is done. We're about to go to bed in five minutes. Five more minutes, I right? You need. Yeah. This is what's a great time. Warm Last night. night, tomorrow we'll be heading down to Avalon. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right, it's eight thirty right now. We had dinner and 
We decided to go inside the uh, art tent. It's super windy up here. We're about probably 1600, give or take, the uh, elevation here in Blackjack. You can feel the wind, but I think uh, my shelter has no problem with the wind. So, this is the inside of my shelter. I still have uh, some space right here, you know, on my left side. And the door is on the right side, right here, right there. And I got my shoes there, my camp shoes. Some of my stuff, my pants. I got some beers here. I'm gonna open the light so that you see it. There you go. So that's my tripod right there. Yeah, I still have uh, uh, extra space for, for the gear. Right, bundled up. It's gonna be windy all night, so I can tell. Right now, the temperature inside the shelter is so much better. Outside, it's kind of cold. I don't know the temperature, but because of the wind factor, it's so chilly outside. This is the highest um, elevation uh, camp that we're staying at. We were pretty much on sea level in both uh, camps, Parsons Landing and the uh, Little Harbor last night great camps but this one is awesome too beautiful tomorrow day four we'll be heading down to Avalon we still have more than 10 miles to go and we're gonna be passing to Hermit Gulch so see you tomorrow guys good night Jack. Yeah, cafe. Let's make some coffee. It Good wasn't morning. that Hello. It yeah. wasn't that cold, huh? No, I was snug. It's like a, I'm gonna take it back, take it off, take it back, take it off my jacket. That's okay. I just locked myself in my sleeping bag and just. Oh yeah. Like, morning. Morning. Gonna make some, time. some breakfast. Coffee time. Cafe. Brewed cafe. Mamma mia, look at that. Bacon grease. Bacon grease. That's the key. Bacon. 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 That's brown with cabbage and bacon. They're like 12 padlocks in the front and the back door is wide open. Beautiful. Mm. Adam's almost done with his. Biscuit and gravy, sausage. Biscuit and gravy and sausage. You got some uh, coffee. What do you call that coffee? Red Rif uh, rifle was, coffee? Um, black rifle. Black, black rifle. rifle coffee. And my breakfast coffee. Coffee co. La Paz Bachoy. Oh, All right, guys. We break camp already, we're about to go, probably in five minutes. And then we'll be moving towards um, Avalon. The last day for the, the whole four day trip here in Trans Catalina. It's a beautiful trip, you know. It's a beautiful trail, up and down. Go down to the sea level, goes back up again. Kind of cool. All right, first mile marker on the fourth day. Mile marker number 10, last 10. So again, so, this is the Trans Catalina Trail sign. They have a official logo, actually. The uh, the mountain and the clouds and the circle around. And right here, you see that little pond, so green. KBRT Road. Cool. All right, guys, I made it to the to the bench. We're gonna stop for a while and have some needed rest. That was tough incline. But from here we go over and see the oceans again. The Pacific Ocean, see the LA area on the other side. From where we are right now, mile marker, you can see the highest peak right here in the island, which is the Mount Orizaba. Here's uh, the one right there with the white structure up there. It's like flat top. That is 2,100 and something, I guess. I'm not sure, but that's 
I'll put in the on the screen the height of the mountain but that's the highest peak the highest uh, the next one is I think um, the blackjack uh, mountain which is uh, 2018 or something yeah and here's the uh, nine mile marker All right, hey press. Take a little break. Recreation Area is dedicated to the youth of the Santa Catalina Island in memory of William Wrigley, Avalon Lions Club, November 1999. I got some cookies from uh, Airport in the Sky. When you go there, make sure you grab one. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Welcome to Jurassic Park. You can hide it. Our goal, Stevie, is to make you late so you have to stay with us longer. Yay! Do it. The bison won't get in there. First time to view the Abalone again. That is where we're going. Still far away, five miles. And we're behind this big tower. I think this is the biggest one in the island. Mile marker number four. And we're getting close. Yeah. And you can see the lone tree up there. We're probably three miles and a half away. I see a little gazebo over there, look out. Uh, that's the way Looks going like down to the trail up to that Hermit, uh, Hermit Gulch Trail. Yeah. 1.7 to, to the campground. The countdown. There you go, folks. Two more miles. We made it to uh, Hermit Gulch. This is the, the campground. They have restroom there. It's kind of limited because of the, the drought that they're you know experiencing. But they have shower actually, although it's closed right now. They have sink, you can wash your dirty dishes over there, they have water, they have soap, I want to show you around. They have this uh, metal cabinet, you know, yeah. to put away your food. They have a bunch of picnic tables and grill if you want to do barbecue. They have fire extinguisher actually. Alright guys, final push to the Avalon. From Hermit Gulch Camp, you will pass by the Catalina Conservancy Office. It was already closed when we got there. Then the old baseball field where the Chicago Cubs used to practice until 1955. You will also see the golf course and the Wrigley's Bird Park. I missed the mile marker number one, so I'm going back another mile and look for it. It should be somewhere there in another half a mile. Woo. Okay, I came back all the way to Hermit Gulch campground to find that mile marker number one. I believe I passed it again. I'm gonna head back down to Avalon now. If I don't see it, I don't see it, but so much for the effort. <laughs> I'm tired and hungry. All right, 
I'm gonna be looking for the guys. They're somewhere in Coyotes Joe, so I'll follow them. I'm just gonna need to go straight here in Catalina Road and it should be on the left side. By the time I got to Coyote Joe's restaurant, Adam is gone. There they are. Like that is. That's monstrous. <laughs> that's, that's a beautiful burrito. <laughs> Adam left to take the boat ride to Dana Point. So, the question still remains. Where's mile marker number one? Alright, right here. We made it. Finally, the end of the trail. trans Trail. Trailhead over here. Behind me. It was a beautiful hike. Uh, I would uh, highly recommend for you guys to try it. It's still... It's still open. Open up until uh, 5. Okay, should be closed by now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the adventure that we did. We did the reverse hike. That means it from, uh, we started from two harbors all the way to uh, Parsons Landing and back to two harbors and to Little Harbor and here to uh, Mile Marker Zero to Trailhead. See you next time. Catalina Beautiful The Trans Catalina Trail is such a wonderful hike I would highly recommend you guys doing it And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you will see my future video As always, happy trails!